Hello friends, welcome to our YouTube channel Miles to Go. In last episode, we have seen us exploring buzzing city of Port Louis. In this episode, we are going to explore underwater life of Indian Ocean in Mauritius. Thank you so much for the amount of love you have shown to our YouTube channel. Please don't forget to subscribe and you can also like our Facebook page Miles to Go link is given below and for the new viewers of miles to go channel you can check out our earlier episodes of Morris's series at the top left corner it's morning 5:45 we are on fifth day of our Mauritius trip. Today we have lots of activities lined up. First we'll go for dolphin watching. Then uh, we'll have a uh, swim with turtle. Afterwards, uh, in the late afternoon, we'll again go for snorkeling. For dolphin watching and a swim with turtle, we got a very good deal yesterday. We found one agent inside a resort. It uh, cost us around 3000 Morrison rupees per person. In general, this rate varies between 3000 to 4000 depending upon from where you are traveling and what are the things covered. And this rate is basically for uh, group. We will quickly have our breakfast now and our vehicle will come around uh, 6 am. We have reached Amarin Bay. Our first activity, dolphin watching, is going to start from here. Uh, this is the main uh, parking area. Uh, I think the activities are going to start from the other side. I can see a few boats are floating over there. Current time is 7:30. It took us around one hour 15 minutes to reach here. We have one washroom here as well on the right hand side. So prior to going to the dolphin watching, if you want to change the cloth or if you want to use toilet, you can use here. So this is the spot from which our journey started. We were told that it would take around 30 to 40 minutes to reach the location where we could spot the dolphins. He was telling us that there are two kinds of dolphins that are observable. One is the spinner dolphin and the other one is bottle nose. We were probably going to spot the spinner dolphins here which are about 1 to 2 meter in length.
as you can see many boards are waiting here must be that one of them have spotted a school of dolphins swimming by so we are also waiting to catch a glimpse of them we also had the option of swimming with the dolphins if we wanted and this is something that i was really looking forward to On our skipper's call when the dolphins came a little close to our boat we dived in but i did not apprehend that it would be so difficult to swim in the currents of the sea so immediately i came up and decided to watch the dolphins from the boat itself while the others continued also one has to be very fast in navigating through the water uh, as the dolphins were extremely swift one moment they would be here and the next moment in the blink of an eye they would pop up from some distant area This entire exercise of dolphin watching reminded me of our African safari. Here how the skippers were communicating between themselves on spotting a team of dolphins and their knowledge of where these dolphins might be amidst this vast expanse of the ocean was exactly similar to how our guides in the vast expanse of Masai Mara was communicating between themselves and then taking us close to the lions and the leopards. But somewhere I believe though these kind of activities and experiences might be very exciting for us it might be equally disturbing to the dolphins it's like invading their personal space and freedom 
so it is probably a better idea to just watch them and let them be and not try to swim with them being aware of such activities one day they might just stop showing up in these areas altogether So this is the end of our dolphin watching trip. Uh, now we're gonna start from Tamarind Bay and probably heading towards uh, turtle watching. So I think that would be a different place, but uh, we don't know the <laughs> location yet. Uh, so there is our car somewhere there. And now we'll start from here. And then we'll toss it towards the north uh, side of the island where our uh, swim with a turtle will happen. The water level is like 1 meter 50 centimeter to 2 meter maximum. Okay, and uh, over there we have a great place for the boat. It's the boat will be tied with a uh, boat, and I will put the ladder down, and we will help you down slowly by the ladder. Those who don't know how to swim, before you go in the water, not after, eh? tell me, I will give you life jacket. Not when you go, hey, help me. Okay. Life jacket if you want to. And uh, how many of you need a snorkel, please? Hand up. One, two, three. Don't try to touch them, please. Okay? Because if you touch them, they will go away. At the spot over there, just relax, swimming like a swimming pool. And no noise, no shouting, relaxing, watching down fish, going in. It's not, there's no sea snake. Yeah? Some people, they think it's, it's not snake. It's great in. Okay? There is nothing that will harm you there. We are protected by the coronary barrier. There is no sharks, nothing like relaxing. And I will show you where you must stay exactly. When it's time over, you know, then you climb on. Good? This was comparatively a better swimming experience as the water was calm and also shallow. Initially though I was a little skeptical if I should go in but once I did there couldn't be a more exhilarating experience than this. It was one of the best moments of my life to see the turtles from so close. And they seemed quite happy and unbothered by our presence. Maybe if we think of it, it might as well be an activity for them. Say, swim with humans, which they also look forward to. Who knows?
We returned to our resort with beautiful memories to take back home with us. It was the best day we spent in Mauritius. Though we were very tired, we still did not want to miss the snorkeling activity which was organized from our resort. A small boat took us to the snorkeling location in the late afternoon at around 4 pm. This area had amazing corals which looked as if somebody had curated them by their own hands. We also saw a variety of colorful fishes. On the way back, we had a stop at the Notre Dame Church, which was also a beautiful place. We came back again with a beautiful experience. As there was still some time left for sunset, we decided to sit here on this bridge by the ocean and witness the beautiful sunset one last time in Mauritius because by this time tomorrow we will be heading back towards our home. As you can see, this bridge was slowly getting crowded because everybody wanted to capture this beautiful moment. We also took some photographs and then slowly started heading back to our resort. <laughs>